Hey, good morning. It is Monday, Thursday, which simply means it is the Thursday before Easter. It's Thursday of Holy Week. And this is a very busy day for Jesus. On this day, he gets up in the morning. He walks across the Kibron Valley. He walks past the Mount of Olives. He goes all the way to the temple and he starts teaching, which he has done every day since Palm Sunday. And so he continues to teach, and there's some tremendous teaching that takes place on this day. And somewhere in the afternoon, they make their way from, um, f from the temple to the upper room. And in the upper room, Jesus starts teaching his disciples specifically, and two huge events in Christendom, probably one of the largest event that takes place as far as teaching and as far as uh, uh, our whole understanding of what Jesus is and what Christianity is all about takes place, and that is that Jesus has his last supper and he washes the feet of his disciples. And so this morning what we're going to do is we're going to do something that I don't think has ever been done before on Facebook Live. And on that is we're going to actually have communion. And no matter where you are, you can participate with us. All you need to do is go and take a moment right now, or if you're using your cell phone or, a, or, a, or using a, a, a pad of some sort, just take, take your, uh, just go, go and get a, a piece of bread or a cracker and get some, something that will represent for you the, the cup that Jesus gave his apostles. He used wine, so I actually have a cup of wine here, and he probably used unleavened bread, and so I have some crackers here. They're just little wafers. I'll hold it up for you so you can see. It's just a, a wafer, and uh, it's not a communion wafers. It's not holy bread. It's not holy wine. If all you have at your disposal is some, is some water and, and and, and a stale stale cracker that do that's all we need because it's not this is not what makes communion the cup and the bread is not what makes communion it's not what makes the last supper it's not what makes the meaning of what we're going to do here this morning um and uh, let me let me take let me read to you what took place in the upper room with his with his Apostles, and again, this is a combination of both uh, Matthew and Mark, where these uh, accounts take place. Then Jesus took a cup of wine, gave thanks to God for it, and said, "Take this cup and give it to everyone here. I will never drink wine again until God's kingdom comes." While they were eating, Jesus took some bread and thanked God for it. He broke off some pieces, gave them to his followers, and said, Take this bread and eat it. It is my body that I'm giving for you. Eat this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup of wine, thanked God for it, and gave it to them. He said, Each one of you drink some of it. This wine represents the new agreement from God to his people. It will begin when my blood is poured out for you. It will be poured out to forgive the sins of many and begin the new agreement from God to his people. I want you to know, I will not drink this wine again until that day when we are, all, when we are together in my Father's kingdom and the wine is new. Then I'll drink it again with you. And then following that, Jesus gives us a new command. Now this is the third day in a row he's given us a command like this. Here's the new command. He said, Now is the time for the Son of Man to, be received, to receive his glory, and God will receive glory through him. If God receives glory through him, he will give glory to the Son through himself, and that will happen very soon. And Jesus said, My children, I will be with you only a short time more. You will look for me, 
but I tell you now that I told the Jewish leaders where I'm going, you cannot come. Here's the part I meant to read right away. I give you a new command, love each other. You must love each other just as I loved you. And people will know that you are my followers if you love each other. Three days in a row, he continues to hound this theme. Love one another. And I think for us, that's more than anything else, the message of Christianity. The message is to love one another. To, to love Jesus, to, to, love your, to love your neighbors, to love one another. And this celebration of the Lord's Supper, what we're doing is remembering the Passover, which is what Jesus was celebrating with his apostles. And the Passover, the, the Passover was came when the Israelites left uh, left Egypt. What they what happened was Moses went to Pharaoh and said, "Let my people go." Ten times he warned Pharaoh of of impeding problems if he would not let his people go. Finally, the tenth time was this. The firstborn of every family would die. Pretty serious. The first child, firstborn, would die. <clears throat> Pharaoh would refuse to listen and let the people go. And so the angel of death came. But here's what happens when the angel of death came. There was a way of escape. And the way of escape was this. Take the blood of a lamb and smear it over the doorposts of your homes. And when the angel of death comes, it will pass over and go to the next. And so, that's what happened. The Israelites, believing in the words of Moses, put the blood of the Lamb over their doorposts. And they were all spared. Pharaoh was not. His son died. And in his grief, he, he let the Israelites go. And it was one of the greatest accomplishments ever for the people of Israel to be freed from, from the bonds of, of, of Egypt. And ever since, they have been celebrating it. In fact, this week, they celebrated the Passover. Now today, and, and every time we take the Lord's Supper, we're remembering the Passover. The fact that, that as sinful people, God sent his son Jesus into the world. That whoever believes in him will not perish, but will have everlasting life. So when we take this, what we're doing is we're, we're, re, we're, we're taking, the, taking the blood of the lamb, Jesus. Because this was the day they actually took the lambs into the temple and sacrificed the lambs. And we're taking that blood of the lamb and not smearing it over the doorposts of our homes. But we're smearing it on the doorposts of our hearts. So that when the angel of death comes, when the, when the time of death comes for us, it will pass over. And we will live forever with Jesus. That's what, this, that's what the meaning of this, this celebration is. And as the Israelites traveled through the, through the wilderness for 40 years, they traveled through the wilderness. They, they were given manna from heaven. The bread fell from heaven, and God cared for them. And as we travel through the wilderness of life, until that day we come to be face to face with Jesus, we have this bread to help us through the, the troubles of life. And so Jesus took the bread, and he broke it, and he gave it to his disciples. And told them to eat it. And so I ask you now, wherever you are, to take your piece of bread. And Donna, I invite you to come and take a piece as well. And wherever you are, you can take that little piece of bread and realize that this gives us the spiritual nourishment we need to go through the wilderness of life, because it is a wilderness. Until we come to be with Jesus forever. It gives us the spiritual nourishment. So take and eat your bread.
and he took the cup. And he said, this cup represents my new covenant, my new promise with you. Whoever drinks this cup will not perish, but shall have everlasting life. So take it and drink, dear Donna. Take a sip. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for the most amazing gift of all. The gift of Jesus, Jesus to us. We thank you that he, you gave him to us in the form of a child. That he grew to be a man. That he became uh, a sacrifice to, to pay the price of our sins on the cross. And so today we celebrate this this. Passover feast because we know that even th that through the pain comes a glorious, marvelous, resurrected Christ. And that in just a three days, we will worship a risen Savior. And so we thank you, Lord, for this day. We thank you for this time. We thank you for the technology that allows us to, to experience this together around the world. And so we love you, Lord, and we thank you for everything. And we praise your name always. Amen. If you celebrated this with us, would you please let me know? Uh, go, to, go to my website, uh, robertschulerministries.org, and let us know that you did this. Make a comment. And, uh, hey, we just want to hope that this is the best day ever. And... Um, Tomorrow I'll meet with you again. Tomorrow is Good Friday. And there's a reason we call it Good Friday. And we'll talk about that tomorrow. And uh, you have a great day. God loves you. And so do I.